Hello friends, today we will discuss about the topic obsessive compulsive and related disorders. So what are obsessive compulsive and related disorder? So initially majorly OCD was that is obsessive compulsive disorder but later on similar pattern of behavior was seen and a list was added on. So as per our ICD-11, what are the diagnosis or disorders included in this apart from OCD? Apart from OCD, we have ORS that is your olfactory reference syndrome, BMD that is your body dysmorphic, body dysmorphic disorder. You have your bodily focus and repeated behaviors are there, which is another entity that is bodily focused repetitive behavioral behavior disorders like pulling off, scratching nails, excoriating skin. These are some repeated bodily focused behaviors that were seen so this was another uh, diagnosis that was included in your icd-11 apart from that you have hoarding disorder and here hypochondriasis have been included in this spectrum hypochondriasis so before discussing all these, first we will try to understand what is OCD disorder. So first we will do about the OCD. OCD is your obsessive compulsive disorder. So what are obsessions? This we have covered in basics of psychiatry class as well. And what are compulsions? So they are repetitive, intrusive thought of person's own and a person is not able to control that so it is person's own thought that are repetitive in nature and they are intrusive that because of which person is not able to do other work they are continuously running in the mind of the person intrusive since on stopping them person would feel anxiety so they are ego dystonic in nature that is they are stress producing to the ego or the psyche of the person or you can say they are distressful and if a person tries to stop them or resist these thoughts then they will feel ext extreme anxiety so they are unable to control or resist them So despite their one's own thought, they are not being able to be controlled. So they are one's own thought, repeatedly, intrusively present, ego dystonic, that is they are causing distress to the person and person is unable to resist or control these thoughts. So these are obsession. To counter these obsessions at times or maybe at times without presence of obsession, there are some compulsive behaviors. What are compulsive behavior? These are basically the rituals, mental, physical acts that a person would do to counter the distress or the anxiety that is produced because of these repeated thoughts. So, these are also again your repetitive rituals or acts you can say which can be both mental that is by thinking and controlling and acts by physically acting out. A physical so they can be both your mental and physical acts which are repeated in nature. They are anxiety relieving. Since these were causing anxiety and distress to relieve them, these acts are being done. So anxiety relieving. But a catch is here that it would transiently for a smaller duration or transiently relieve the distress of the person. So they relieve the distress but it is very transient for a small duration and again these symptoms or the thoughts would come and again it will cause anxiety. So these are transiently re re uh, removing 
ਦੀ ਐਂਗਜ਼ਾਈਟੀ